Pro-gun supporters, why do you support gun rights? I live on a farm, I have to protect my animals. I am from former Soviet Union country, and with the current things going on, I support everyone that has a high-caliber gun at home and is proficient at it. The country also has very low gun homicide, even though pretty much anyone can get a gun as long as they meet minimal requirements. Because I am a small female who will never be as large or as strong as man who wants to hurt me or my daughter. It's the only chance I have, especially when response times can be 20-45 minutes in my area. Because I live where the predators eat your face, while you're alive. I trust my ability to protect my family and myself more than the police who are 15-20 minutes away. Average police response in a rural area where I live is 17 minutes. If someone broke into my house with the intention to hurt me and they have a gun and I don't I'd be screwed. Average police response time in the USA is 27 minutes, average response time of 0.45 ACP is 950 feet per second. My brother was shot twice during a home invasion burglary. The fact that he was able to return fire is the only thing that saved his life. Edit. I'm not going to get into the weeds with anyone about this topic. A simple question was posed and I responded with my own experience. I'm not going to debate or attempt to persuade dissuade anyone on their or my own beliefs about gun ownership. I was assaulted and nearly killed and the police showed three hours later. I got really into guns after that and moved out of the city. You don't realize how very little the police care. You are on your own and if you cannot defend yourself, your family and your property, you're fucked. It's that simple. Some people like them, are responsible with them, and follow all the rules when purchasing and operating them. They shouldn't be prohibited from them. Edit it's interesting how many responses to this assume that I'm a gun owner and or a conservative. In reality, I'm a queer communist who's never touched a gun in his life. I just believe in freedom of choice on this particular issue. The police do not have the legal requirement to protect me. I am in charge of protecting me and my own. And the threat out there is fully armed. So why shouldn't I be to defend myself? Because where I live when seconds count police are 45 minutes away. Because I feel everyone has a right to defend themselves, and I see a gun as the easiest to use option, something everyone can pick up and use, sure you can use a knife, but getting that close to someone who wants to do you harm is dangerous. I like cuddling with mine. Because hunting is better than factory meat farms. Armed minorities are harder to oppress. Citizens are armed, and subjects are not. Studies have shown that firearms are used defensively millions of times a year in the US. The right to defend oneself is a human right. No government can effectively occupy an armed population intent on resisting it. It doesn't make sense to disarm civilians in the face of a violent police force. What else do you suggest an innocent person could use to stop a violent offender? You can vote your way into tyranny. You can't vote your way out. Because armed queers don't get bashed. I live in Canada, I believe the right to own and protect yourself should be a basic human right. Two words. Uval police. If the police aren't going to protect us, then I'd like the ability for people to protect themselves. Taking away guns is on the pathway to authoritarianism and fascism. It gives the 20-year-old girl who just got her first apartment an opportunity to defend herself against the 200-pound man trying to take advantage of her. Because criminals don't obey gun laws. All lawful citizens should be allowed to protect themselves no matter what. I would rather have one and not need need it and not have it. Because the kings can't be trusted. To genocide proof all in the nation. The right to defend yourself is a basic human right, it should not be a party-line political issue. Infringements give power to those that they do not apply to governing forces and criminals. Guns are the modern tool to defend yourself against harm. 
Second Amendment wasn't made for you to protect yourself from crackheads robbing your house, it was made for keeping the government to be scared of the people, not for the people to be scared of the government. Idea of keeping the government from becoming to controlling and impossible to overthrow. Edit thanks for all the awards never had any awards before, I feel like commenting on Reddit should become my career. Protection of my family and my home. I support broad rights for all people. Because responsible gun owners aren't the problem. Guns are not the problem. Bullets, accessories and modifications are not the problem. Shitty, unenforceable policies that make it harder for me to buy a gun aren't doing a goddamn thing to prevent gun crime involving guns that have been stolen. Criminals fear armed victims, and criminals will not give up their guns. Because I was shot in the head, and believe me it hurt like hell. 1. I want to at least have a chance to protect myself and my family from people who break the law and also have firearms. 2. I enjoy target shooting at the range, and on rural land as a hobby. 3. Should I need to, I can hunt for food. 4. I believe that part of the deterrent to foreign invasion, and the rights of the people being taken is the 393 million guns in private hands and the over 1B rounds of ammunition. An invading army would be facing a population of well-equipped and not submissive citizens. At this point, I have almost no faith in the government. Why do I want to rely on them for safety? Armed citizens don't get forced into rail cars. Pest control, tin can control, hunting and protecting myself. I'm sure this will be lost in the 15k comments but know this. Man has been at war for all of recorded history. We have never known peace and never will. Personally I grew up in a blue state and was very anti-gun until a hurricane set us back a few centuries and mankind's true colors were shown. Everyone should own a firearm, no basic safety, and train. It would be a lot more peaceful. Stay safe. For me it's not about owning a gun. I'm not a gun owner nor do I plan on becoming one. I am pro-gun simply for what it represents. Our right to bear arms is a constitutional right. By undoing or changing that right it sets a dangerous precedent for the rest of our rights. If they can take away the Second Amendment what else will that allow them to do? Because I'm a woman. Armed minorities are harder to oppress. Because guns aren't going anywhere. They are here, and banning them will only ensure that criminals have them while law-abiding citizens don't. German here, be proud to be able to defend yourself with a pistol without problems with the law. Here you are labeled as a right-wing extremist weapon crazier and you can either be a training device or a punching bag for delinquents who have already suffered several physical injuries, the law is also being adapted more and more from time to time and lies are being spread about you. To protect my home and family. I don't own a gun, but I fully support people who do and the right to own one. Banning guns only punish the good guy, and the criminal will still own a gun, whether legal or not. In Canada we don't even have a gun issue but our federal government is treating us legals like we are the problem that's why I support it at this point. Because I'm a 90 pounds female who has to walk down Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard every night from work. I genuinely believe in everybody having the ability to protect themselves and as a minority I believe women especially should be armed. Because there is nothing ethically wrong with gun ownership and using it reasonably in the first place. P.S. I never owned or used a gun. Because generally I feel law enforcement is incompetent. I shoot, I hunt, I collect guns, and I use them for protection. Where I live I'm at least an hour from the cops, if they don't get lost on the way. Also I support the US Constitution in whole not just the parts one like. The Second Amendment gives me the right to bear arms and I will exercise that right till the day I die. Canadian here. Our leader is Justin Trudeau who enjoys spouting catchy anti-gun phrases like designed to kill the most people in the shortest times or assault style. I am a sport shooter and my guns only poke holes in paper and not weapons of war. Gun fear is used to drive politics. So supporting gun rights feels like supporting the fight against misinformation to me.